on Truth Detective with Stephanie Lee. The main core topic of the episode is based on the truth. And in most episodes, some of the events, people, places, pseudonyms, and the lifestyle that I lead as a truth detective are fictionalized for a better truth detective storytelling experience. For each episode, go to the show notes for more information on the topic. Enjoy this episode. Welcome. This is Truth Detective with Stephanie Lee. Dystopian Stories. Tartarians. At the beginning of this year, I, your trusted truth detective, found myself amidst a perplexing mystery that would challenge my skills and shake the very foundations of what I thought history was. As a seasoned investigator, I had encountered my fair share of odd and unbelievable cases, but nothing, I mean nothing, could have prepared me for what I was about to uncover. The mystery involved the whole earth, every continent. A few world anthropologists and wanderers had stumbled upon a new civilization. They live-streamed on the alternative media everything they found, and that's all it took to pique my interest. There was a covered-up crime of a missing civilization. That was huge. It all started with the Tartarian civilization's disappearance. Covered by mud floods in the 1700s and 1800s, This advanced civilization had once spanned continents, including those of North and South America. The Tatarians were said to be giants, possessing abilities far beyond those of ordinary humans like you and me. Their technological advancements included free energy, electricity, and highly sophisticated architecture that utilized energy conductors atop elaborate buildings. It was a civilization ahead of its time, and yet, it had seemingly vanished without a trace. Rumors and whispers circulated, suggesting that the elites, high-ranking officials, and monarchs of the time had deliberately covered up the Tartarian civilization's existence. It was believed that they did so to maintain their power and control and for financial gain. Big surprise. It didn't take me long to wonder if there was any truth to these claims. As I delved deeper into the mystery, I discovered that the Native American people may not have been the first inhabitants of North America, as history had long dictated, but rather another completely different civilization had been here in North America. The Tartarians, perhaps? That would explain the decadent, magnificent, decked-out buildings that utilized machinery and technology America had not acquired yet at the time of the discovery of the country. But I wondered still, How could we not have known? Certainly, the history books would have taught us about the civilization in school, right? (laughs) That would be a wrong. As a seasoned detective, I had seen my fair share of crimes and corruption, but nothing could have prepared me for the truth I was about to uncover. It all started to click and come together when I stumbled upon a hidden room in the depths of the Rockefeller Mansion. And how I got on the inside will have to wait for another time. Let's just say I was in disguise. Inside the great mansion halls, I discovered a collection of old, dusty books that seemed ordinary at first glance. Little did I know, these books held the key to a secret history that had been suppressed for centuries. The books revealed the true history of the Tartarian civilization, a highly advanced society that had once ruled the earth. I was astounded to learn that these ancient people possessed technology far beyond anything known in our time. They had harnessed free energy, created advanced machinery, and had a profound understanding of the universe. Wild enough as it is to believe, my dear listeners, we all have the technology now to connect to the ether and provide unlimited power to everyone, anywhere, at any time. Travel by boat, car, and plane for free by accessing nature's magnetical energy that is always around us. It is omnipresent. As I delved deeper, I realized that the truth had been deliberately 
concealed by the likes of the powerful oligarchs. And we know who they are. They had manipulated history, rewriting it to suit their agenda and maintain their stranglehold on power and wealth. I couldn't help but feel a sense of outrage and betrayal. The knowledge of these incredible advancements had been kept hidden from the world, denying humanity the chance to progress and thrive. I discovered that Rockefeller and his many oligarch friends and associates had not only suppressed the knowledge of free energy, but had also exploited it for their gain. The Rockefellers owned the very book manufacturers that published history school books for students all over the world, covering up the Tartarian civilization and getting rid of antiquated maps, replacing them with new maps that served their own purpose. And so it was, the oligarchs built a vast network of power plants, monopolized the energy industry, and amassed unimaginable wealth for themselves, not us. This web of lies was too much for just one seeker of truth, so I gathered a few of my associates, for this was turning out to be a bevy of information leading in all different directions, and with all kinds of implications. We detectives knew that Exposing this conspiracy would not be easy. Oh no, these charlatans were a hard bunch. The powerful elites would stop at nothing to protect their greedy secrets, and so we found ourselves in constant danger. We were followed, threatened, and even framed for crimes we did not commit. But the truth could not be silenced. We gathered evidence, interviewed others who put out exceptional videos, and pieced together the puzzle that had been hidden for so long. Our determination and unwavering commitment to justice pushed us forward, even in the face of adversity. We found out, firstly, that there was indications that the Tartarian architecture had been concealed beneath layers of new construction after devastating mudslides all over the world had wiped out the entire civilization. And we all wondered how it could be possible that an entire civilization had been wiped out from the maps and not at all detected. With each new revelation, we all grew angry, and so we became determined to uncover more truth. We embarked on a journey that would take us across the continents of the world, from ancient ruins to hidden archives, in search of evidence that would confirm the existence of the Tartarian civilization. As we dug deeper, we detectives encountered resistance from those who sought to keep the truth buried powerful individuals, desperate to maintain the status quo. They would stop at nothing to prevent us from uncovering the secrets of the past, but we were not ones to be deterred easily. All of us had unwavering determination and sharp intellects that propelled us forward, even in the face of danger. Together, we all pieced fragments of an unknown history, unearthing artifacts and deciphering ancient texts. The more we discovered, the more it became clear that the Tartarian civilization had indeed existed, and its disappearance had been orchestrated by those in power. With mounting evidence, we detectives and journalists confronted the elites, high-ranking officials, and monarchs who had concealed the truth for centuries. We exposed their deception, unraveling the web of lies that had shrouded the Tartarian civilization. The revelation sent shockwaves through society, challenging long-held beliefs and forcing a reevaluation of history. The world stood at a crossroads, poised to rewrite its past and redefine its future. We all knew that we had not only solved a mystery, but had unearthed a hidden civilization that had been wiped from the maps, wiped from Earth. Our relentless pursuit of truth had shattered the illusions of power and control. Finally, the day of reckoning arrived. We fact-finders and journalists presented our findings to the public, revealing the true history of the Tartarian civilization and the suppression of free energy. The world was stunned by the revelations, and the power dynamics shifted overnight. Rockefeller and his allies were exposed as the manipulators they were, and the people demanded justice. The once untouchable oligarchs were brought to trial, and their ill-gotten wealth was redistributed to benefit society as a whole. My associates, allies, and myself became heroes, our names etched in history as the ones who had uncovered the truth. Our relentless pursuit of justice had not only exposed a grand conspiracy, but had also 
ignited a spark of hope in the hearts of the people worldwide. As the world began to embrace the knowledge of the Tartarian civilization and the possibilities of free energy, a new era of progression and enlightenment dawned. Our legacy will forever be remembered as the catalysts for change, reminding humanity of the importance of truth and the power of uncovering hidden knowledge. Thank you.